Welcome to New York City, baby! Presley, how funny is it? It's so... You've said so funny so like funny. 20 times. It's so... Oh my gosh, how, that, that crap it's is so, so what? funny. That is so funny. Sorry, I repeat myself a lot. That is so funny. It's so yeah. funny. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. So anyways, we are basically chilling in the Kuala Lumpur airport, getting ready to go to New York. Oh, love China travel days. Air. Oh yeah, China. Five hour to China. China, 15 hours then New York. I love travel days. FYI, everyone has shaved their heads. Seven of the girls, two of the guys. No, I would not shave my head. And I'm firm on that. I respect that. They're I fist bumping, they're fist bumping. You can't see it, but they're fist bumping. I'll hold it. Can you? Are the fists there? Traumatic, traumatic oh, sound right there. One, two. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the Meryl and Presley show. We're taking over. What was her name first? Anyways, so we're chilling in Kuala Lumpur, and uh, Meryl's going home, like home, home. Anyway, we all have lice. We all have lice. I have lice. I'm today. I have to accept that I do have lice. You if you want to support me in this rough time, oh, donate to my <laughs> donate to my world race vlog site. <laughs> so many fans. She's watching my vlogs. Show us the vlog. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. So funny. Wait, tell Vloggers them vlogging tell each them, other. Tell them what? Oh yes, my yes, gosh. Yes. Covenant, Say covenant, hello. Covenant, 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 <laughs> Where are we? We're in New York! Woo! Hello, New York! We got our Chick-fil-A! Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for everything. <laughs> You're the best. Welcome to New York City, baby! I don't think I've seen this many tall buildings in my life. So we're here at the Rockefeller Center and had to come see the Christmas tree before we leave out for Costa Rica. Okay guys, it's time for the lesson of the day. So if you watched my last video, you know that something that God is currently teaching me is how to let go in situations and not have to be in control. And he's brought up a lot that I need to work on with that, but it only seems fitting that the devil would try and come after me after God revealed this to me. Because the devil is so predictable. Anytime God is working on your heart and revealing things to you, the devil is going to be trying super hard to pull you back down. So it only seems fitting that the devil would come after me after God was pulling me out of the slump that I was in in Malaysia. So for our layover in New York, my dad was actually supposed to be coming up to come see me and, uh, I was actually really excited about this because it had been a tough month and there was a lot that I just wanted to be able to talk to him about and it would have been really nice to see him. But things didn't work out the way we planned it and God had other plans and I was a bit bummed out about this. But something that I tried to remember was that this situation was out of my control and 
I could either choose to sit and be upset about it or I could choose to be joyful and make the most of the situation God was putting in front of me. Something that our leaders actually spoke over our squad uh, coming into the race was that we would be rooftop dwellers and they challenged us to this to be people that would see over the fog and see over their circumstances so that's something that I really wanted to do is not let my circumstances get the best of me but choose to see the brighter side in things so even though I didn't get to see my dad I still had a good time in New York and I was ready to move on to our next country in Costa Rica so just remember guys if things don't work out the way you thought it would don't worry because it's happening exactly how God knew it would and his plans are much better than anything we could think of. It may not make sense in the moment, but just trust that God's got it all under control. And when you do that, you can choose to see over the circumstances. But that's it for the lesson of the day. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Like always, make sure to leave a like on the video and make sure to go subscribe if you're not already and tap that little bell to turn post notifications on. That way you'll be updated with all my new videos. All right guys, remember, I love you and God loves you. See you next time.